Hi, I'm Susie Robb, founder of the 626 Foundation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit interior design firm, and it is my heart to help families who've experienced tragedy or loss find hope and elicit joy with fully furnished spaces. I think a lot of times our homes can turn into prisons where otherwise they would be refuge. And I wanted to create spaces where people could have hope for their future. So this is our first house that we've completed as part of the 626 Foundation. Um, we're working with a single mother who has just transitioned out of a local women's independent living program. Um, she's got two small kids. They're actually the same age as mine. And it was really fun to get to gift to them spaces that would bring them just smiles on their faces. So for the little boy, he's gonna be eight. He's very into comics and superheroes. And so we knew we wanted to make his room bright and sort of give him that energy of, I can conquer the world. So we've done decals on his wall. We found some vintage comics. We've created a space for him to do homework. We even did a Nerf gun wall. So we're trying to make a space where he can feel like it's his sanctuary and also have a lot of fun in there. For her little girl, she loves rainbows and unicorns, just like any little girl does. And so we kind of went with a fairy tale type scheme. We had custom wallpaper made that is truly unique to her. We put a little tent, created a castle-like area for her to read books with her mom or by herself. For our single mom, um, which I can absolutely resonate with that, I wanted to create a spa-like sanctuary, something very um, calming and soothing and a place that was hers and a place that didn't have little kids' toys everywhere, but that she could come to at the end of the day and just relax. And I think we've accomplished that here. In the living areas, it was all about form and function, but also aesthetics. So we went with a darker sofa to hide stains we went with something more durable, a fabric that was gonna withhold stains and spills and you name it. And we've sectioned it off to where when Katie is in the kitchen doing dishes, she can see through the pathway her kids at this arts and crafts table. They're very much into painting and coloring, so we wanted to make a space that could house all of the art supplies and keep the space looking really nice. In her dining room, we've switched out the light fixture and we've created an area where she can host lots of friends and family to share meals together. So before I came here, I had been living at, at a local women's shelter and I had went there after I got divorced uh, and I was able to stay there for three years while I got a new job and I got independent for myself and my kids. And the whole time I had been there, I was worried about how am I gonna do this whenever I get out? Like, how am I gonna be able to support myself and two kids on one income? I found this, this house and I mean, I was just in love. You know, it's two story, three bedroom, both the kids have their own room. I mean, what more could you ask for? So I get the keys, I walk in the door for the first time and I remember walking to the top of the stairs and I looked around and I realized how big it was. And I was like, this place is empty. Um, I don't have anything to fill it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to be able to fill this house with things for myself and the kids. Like, how am I going to make it feel like a home for them? Because of Susie and her crew coming in here, um, it's, it's a home now. You know, this is, this is my space. Um, I can walk in the door every day and it's pretty, like everything is pretty to look at. Um, my friends come over and there's always something to show them, you know, the kids have their rooms upstairs. They're able to take their friends up there and it's just unbelievable. Like I could not have done this without her. It makes me feel like I've done something for them, like I'm not a failure. You know, that's, I don't have to worry about doing this because it's done. Like there's no way I could have done this. I am honored to have done this for you and I'm so proud of you and you inspire me because I see how hard you work for your kids and I couldn't be happier. So um, I'm going to give you my necklace because this is our 626 necklace and it represents Matthew 626. And I know that you know 
that it means that God will provide, but it also, to me, says that you're worth so much. So, this is yours.